And Richard Wagner used the room decoration sometimes as a pattern on model for stage decorations for several tunnels of performances too. And Wagner's father-in-law was Franz Liszt, famous composer, piano player. And Franz Liszt was the concert master of the owner of the castle in the 19th century. And he was asked to help during the first restoration. And Franz Liszt changed his ceiling. 800 years before, in this room existed a flat horizontal wooden ceiling, and Francis proposed to construct that ceiling with its inclined sides to give that room an excellent acoustic, and he succeeded. Yeah, and this room met in 1817 about 500 German students from all 11 German universities to vote for a united German country. Germany was divided in that time in 35 small pieces. For example, to reach from this point Munich, you had to cross six several borders with different currency, different of horrible. Therefore, so many people emigrated to America. Therefore, the people adored the strong, united, powerful media every time. The partition was one of the reasons for that. And these students met in this room to vote for a united German country. And the flag above the fireplace reminds us of this meeting too. And here you can find for the first time that color combination, black, red, and the golden oak branch. And this color combination, the students took from a uniform of the so-called Lützower Jäger. They were soldiers, and they had black uniforms, red calves, golden buttons. And these soldiers fought four years before the students' meeting in the Battle of Nations against Napoleon for the freedom of Germany, and about that the students were so enthusiastic that they could, took the color combination of the uniforms for their flag, and this color combination you can find in form of stripes in our present national flag that was the base for the present flag. Yeah, in our days we are very lucky to use that room in the warm season for concerts, festivities, <coughs> and before the summer holidays the high school commencement takes place here, and we believe it is not only an undecorated room, it is an excellent historical base. We are standing here on nine centuries of positive German history, beginning with the peak of early medieval literature, the Minnesingers, life and work of St. Elizabeth, her ideas run around the globe, Martin Luther's ideas run around the globe, Johann Wolfgang von Goethe, our most famous German poet, he was a minister here, he proposed to collect pieces of art for the museum. Richard Wagner, Franz Liszt, in the meeting, the students' meeting in the 19th century. On few square meters, in more than 900 years, positive lived life. And therefore this castle became a part of the World Cultural Heritage List some years ago. Yeah, that was the last room I could show you in this building. And I open for you now the entrance into the museum part, which you can visit on your own. The last room... I think is the most interesting for you, the Luther Room, and after that, the exit near the drawbridge where you entered this castle. Yeah, and I only have to say thank you for your coming, for your attention, and I wish you a pleasant stay at the castle and in Germany. Fine weather, interesting things to visit, friendly people to meet, and goodbye. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.